Austin Davis. Welcome. You look you look beautiful. Thank you. You have a very beautiful face, but I'm looking at your dress. <laughs> and Thank then I you. noticed something else. The, uh, th that this is a, a, a leopard, a cheetah print. Yeah, right? Dolce. Dolce is, yeah. what I, is what I meant to say. But down here, <laughs> down here, yes. I see a matching print. If you get yes, right, that was for you. I don't know if they can print. see that. Can they see there. right there? Oh, there you, go. you see that? Right down there. Isn't Part it? of the thing of our show is what we wear. Mm -hmm. There's this huge fascination, fascination, yeah. which is it, sometimes some pressure. Is it know? nice that, I, that someone noticed? The, the, it's fabulous. You always want a man to notice your shoes. Mm. Always, right? And I, yeah. yeah. And I, and it turns out, it turns out that I'm a man. I'm so happy. <laughs> um, the John Denver story, admit it. I listened to John growing up. You know, I'm we were so kind bad. of embarrassed. Yes, yes. Did you listen to John? I listened to John, and I wasn't even embarrassed because okay. I was in the South. First of all, I was born in Colorado, so of course, Colorado, there he's the Rocky national. Mountain High. Yes, it's exactly. pretty. It's pretty music. Yeah, it's beautiful music. And then in the South, you know, there you love you love stuff like that unabashedly. Mm -hmm. Um, so when they sent me the project, I was like, oh, I love John Denver. Yeah. I love John Denver. I don't want to be mean to John Denver. And so then I found out that the family had agreed and they wanted this this story told. I see. And so I'm hoping that it does justice. You play the wife. Annie. Annie. Yeah, Annie, Annie so I remember when I was a kid, um, sunshine on your shoulders. Sun sunshine on my shoulder makes yeah. me happy. Yeah. And I was a kid and I used to go outside and something did feel good on my shoulder, but it was it was John Denver that said it's sunshine on my shoulder. So I thank him for that. Because I wouldn't so I would not have figured it out. It's like something feels good on outside and it's, what is it? I understand. Um all right. So how excited are you about the success of Sex and, and the City? It's pretty, it's shocking. You know, we really thought when we started that we would be kind of the underground, that we would be really subversive and that mm -hmm. we would never be accepted by the establishment of TV. So then to have it be as, as big and as popular and to be nominated for Emmys and win Golden Globes, it's just all shocking. Yeah. I mean, it's really like we're, we're all just joyous. Yeah, you should be. It's, it's, you. What about, do, do the people recognize you a lot? They do, and it's so, funny because we're in New York. We shoot in New York, and in New York, you know, there's a whole oh, it's so complicated how you handle people on the street, a lot and of the people, subway, crowded all the time, yeah. all the time. Yeah. Now, sometimes there are certain rules. You know, like if you're on the subway, you're really not supposed to make eye contact. Don't, it's a challenge. It's a challenge that you might get in a, a fight or something. Absolutely, yeah. it's yeah. like animal behavior. You know, mm -hmm. you're like basically saying, you know, I'm going to fight you. Right. So I, I, you know, I'm a you know, I know the rules, and I sit with my eyes down, but sometimes people recognize me on the subway, which is always really weird, because mm -hmm. they look at me, and they smile, and I always feel a little nervous, like I don't know what to do back, and They'll I don't say really... say she's rude if you don't exactly. make... Exactly, yeah. right. And you're I don't not be rude. rude. I don't you're a likable person. I try to be, I try to be. Right. But the other day, this woman did this great thing. She was looking at me, she was smiling, and I kind of glanced up, and I kind of smiled back, and then I was like, oh, I don't know, maybe she's just kind of crazy, you know? <laughs> and this went on for a little while, the glancing, and then she got up to get off, and she walked up to me and she handed me a piece of paper and she said don't read this till I get off and she got off the subway and I read it and it said I think you're the actress on Sex in the City and I really love your character I really love the show and it was so it was Aww. so lovely and so That's, polite yes so tasteful and you know the New York people they think of us as theirs right you know in a way that, that that's really nice so even though sometimes they shout and, and sure. stuff they're still so filled with enthusiasm that we and enjoy this it. woman gave you the note, and when you got off, she didn't like get in a fight with you. No, right? no, she didn't. It turned out okay. She was an okay yeah, person. Yeah, so it was one of those things that turn out better than you think. What is the, uh, they're telling me it's an episode on Sex and the City called The Bad Kiss. Uh, it's not called The Bad Kiss. That's just my, my storyline, and that's what I was actually doing last night. I was shooting last night in New York till about two in the morning. You were pet kissing badly last night? No, no, I kiss well. Yeah. Charlotte kisses well. Charlotte, though, meets a lot of, uh, a lot of men who have, have a lot of different problems. And uh, <laughs> well, well, I'm, I'm listening. What? And is um, this one was just a particularly bad kisser. Oh, he was not good at kissing. Very, very bad. And very, what makes very what makes bad. a man bad? Well, at in kissing? this particular case, because I've never heard "bad" and "kissing" in a sentence together. Really? <laughs> Are you kidding? See, this is you know. Just kidding. Maybe I'm doing something. What? It was a good storyline because when 
we went to do our group scene, everyone in the group scene had a story to tell, mm -hmm. you know? And our crew started telling their stories, and it was really good. But in this particular case, this guy is just overly active with the tongue. Oh, yeah. So, like, last night, I mean, I still have a little razor burn. He basically licked my whole entire face and pretty much put my chin in his mouth. Yeah. Which is yeah. not good. It's not It's not enjoyable. The the tongue, and I'm, I'm from the Midwest. I'm very conservative. Uh -huh. I, I didn't... I think I kissed a girl when I was 21 for the first time. Really? But the tongue is not really supposed to come into play until maybe, like, five or ten minutes into the whole process. <laughs> right? I think that's a pretty good window, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Five, five or ten yeah. minutes. Now, right. see, you know, the other thing is that I think it's all, you know, you got to work off the other person. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if the other person is not going there, then you don't want to intrude. You don't, you don't go intrude. there. Yeah, you leave right. the room. Right. You leave the room. Yeah. Right. That right. makes sense. Right. Well, I think you guys are... I think you guys are educating a lot of us. And is that you. part is that part Thank of the uh, the the well, show the is educating us? We thought in the beginning that men really hate the show, mm -hmm. and we were worried about that. You know, we didn't want to exclude you guys. Yeah, you know why? You girls are beautiful. We're gonna like anything. Oh, That's you're so no matter sweet. what you guys you're say, so sweet. we're going to accept. Oh, uh, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Um, but we've kind of tried now more to include right. um, some of the guys' perspectives. Like we have some characters that hang around longer than just one episode now. That's nice. Which is a big improvement. Because you were using these people. <laughs> yeah, in some ways. Woo! They would like, come, they would go. I mean, yeah. all of us, the actresses, were like, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's, it's basically <laughs> when I see a beautiful woman and she gets a guy, we're jealous of the guy. But then you accept the guy, you know, it's like, okay, he got her, no one else will. Then I see the next week, oh, another guy got her. It yeah. bothers me. Yeah. Jealous. Well, you know, I like that in a man. Though. Damn right. Yeah. Damn My, right. One of our crew guys. <laughs> Take a break. Okay. When we come back, five questions. <laughs> We're back with the lovely Kristen Davis and her dress. And uh, you live in New York. Well, kind of, Kind of, yeah. sort of. Yeah, But you, you do something, a very L.A. thing. I think it's L.A., but it's, yeah. you, you do the yoga. I do do the yoga. I used to teach the yoga. Really? Yeah. Now, I, I, is it a stretching? I heard it's good for you stretching and limbering up, but is it a, spirit, is it a spiritual crap? Now, okay, you know yeah. about this because my friends have seen you. Now, this is so wrong. What do you, come on, come on. I have never admit, gone. Admit, okay, admit. What do you have? I don't, Mess up. What? You've been to yoga, haven't you? Never. You have? Never. You must be mixing me up with some other six five pasty. Really tall blonde comedian. Pasty geek, yeah. <laughs> no, I've, I've never been to yoga. Really? Where I've gone is a gym that they they have yoga in there, and then I oh. I'm on the bike outside. You mean you're doing the manly thing. Yeah. Well, let me tell you this. I'm with the medicine ball think, against the wall. Oh, really, really. Well, I think that men who do yoga are incredibly sexy. Mm -hmm. I think it's a really positive thing to Maybe do. Maybe that's why I haven't done it. <laughs> Try not to be sexy. No, I'm just not. Oh, I can't. I'm a boring. Oh, little... oh, no, no, no. But it is good for you, right? It's really good, and it's strength building, and it doesn't have to be spiritual. I think that's something that you bring to it if you want to. Good. Because yeah. I don't want to bring that to it. Okay. I just, I just want to stretch. No, it's good for when you're older. It's good yeah. for, for My hamstrings are tight. Yeah, I you're just want to stretch. I yeah. You need to go. You need to go. Uh, are you ready for the big five? Okay. Five questions. Here we go. <laughs> Uh, geography, oh, uh, if you were doing it under the Gateway Arch, what city are you having sex in? San Francisco. No, the Gateway... Oh, St. Louis. That is correct. <laughs> uh, be you. Better, you. better bagel, plain or raisin? Raisin. Really? Oh, yeah, it's yeah. like dessert. Okay, that is correct. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just saying yes. I'm looking at your dress and saying, that's correct. Um, it's worth every penny, then. Yeah. True or false, you've never seen this show before. False. You, you have? I have. Oh, that is correct. Of course right. I have. Other than, other than Girls Just Want to Have Fun, name three other films that starred Sarah Jessica Parker. Can you name three? If Lucy Fell. Is she in that? Yes. Okay. Um, honeymoon in Vegas. Yeah, okay. L.A. Story. That is correct. There are three. 
And finally, uh, you're a great actress. We're going to put you to work. Uh, oh. You used to be on General Hospital, a I soap did. opera. I am now going to play your boyfriend. React oh. to my shocking news. Kristen, I've been sleeping with your sister and your brother. so good. Uh, you could be on our show. Yeah, I like that. I like that. <laughs> okay. Uh, it was a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. You too. And, and meeting uh, the print Thank as well. You. Big hand for Kristen Davis. John Chuck is up next. In just a few moments,